Hey everyone, welcome to Malda 5. Uh, I'm JD and it's been a little while, uh, for me at least. I haven't recorded videos in a couple months anyway. Um, and in that time, there's been some, some new developments in the modern world. Uh, most notably and most recently, Modern Horizons was released, which is pretty exciting. Uh, kind of a very unique, one-of-a-kind set. Um, so I figured now would be a great time to jump back in, record a few more, um, showcase some of those brand new cards we got. Um, there is potential for a, a lot of jank, so I'll, I'll be recording a few videos in the in the coming weeks, I think. Uh, I'm gonna try anyway. Um, nothing like, from what, at least from what I've seen, it doesn't. See, the Modern Horizons doesn't seem like it gave the modern format any brand new, you know, uh, format breaking decks necessarily. Um, definitely some new toys for certain decks. Um, definitely some jankier options, which is uh, what I'm excited to explore. Um, which, <laughs> which brings us to today's deck, um, which I'm calling Fairy Ninjas. Um, this style of, de of deck has definitely been explored in the past with like Ninja Bear Delver. Um, I think T Wu kind of piloted that back in the day and other Delver style decks. Um, so previously the best and the best option for a ninja is Ninja the Deep Hours. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a it's a four drop, but if you're familiar with with ninjas at all, they have a mechanic called ninjutsu, um, and which basically bounces back an unblocked attacker you have and replaces it with the ninja, um, and then so for just two mana. So the idea is that you go turn one evasive creature, turn two you swing it with that ninjutsu it back and all of a sudden replace it with the ninja of the deep hours and then the ninja gets in for damage you draw a card uh value so <laughs> that's the basic idea and ninja of the deep hours was kind of the all-star slash only real option um but in modern horizons we got a very very similar card um it's basically ninja of the deep hours five through eight uh, it's slightly different. It's a little more cost restrictive. Um, instead of just being mono blue, it is blue and black. So both the hard casting cost and the ninjutsu cost are have two colors, which is obviously a little more restrictive, more difficult. But um, it gets an extra point of toughness, which is kind of cool. And it says whenever whenever any ninja you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So it's not just when when he hits the ingenious infiltrator, but when any other ninja hits, um, you're drawing cards. So uh, so it's like a beefed up version of Ninja the Deep Hours. So it's putting us into blue and black, um, but we now have essentially eight copies of, of this effect. And so that means more consistency. Um, so maybe this can become more of a, a real idea or a real strategy. Um, so that's this is the main new card that I'm excited about, Ingenious Infiltrator. Uh, it's our pseudo ninja lord. Um, plays very well with Ninja the Deep Hours. It, it kind of um, more uh, more of that same effect. So anyway, um, so that's the first new Modern Horizons card I'm excited about. Now, so like I mentioned, the other part of the puzzle is that you ideally want like a turn one evasive creature to ninjutsu. Uh, so in the past, we had like fairy miscreants, um, which is kind of the best option. Um, you could also do like uh, Mausoleum Wanderer or, um, you know, the bird version, the, the worst version of that. What was it? The owl? I forget what he's... Judge is Familiar. Judge is Familiar or um, Mausoleum Wanderer are both good options. Th those used to work too. Um, but we now have... We have a new card called Fairy Seer. Um, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1. It's a flying men. It's evasive. That's what we want. But when Fairy Seer enters the battlefield, you scry 2, which in my opinion is way stronger than the conditional card draw from a Fairy Miscreant. Like, yes, obviously drawing a card is is nice when it happens, but it's kind of rare that you'll have 
a fairy miscreant on the board already when you cast another one. That only happens once in a while. And so I think the consistent card selection from Fairy Seer uh, is way more powerful than the inconsistent card draw from Fairy Miscreant. Mm -hmm. So I'm still keeping Fairy Miscreant in the deck, um, but Fairy Seer I think is is a far more powerful option. So uh, I'm liking Fairy Seer. Um, so it's these two, and then the third option the third kind of uh, one evasive one drop that I've thrown in here is the other new card, uh, Changeling Outcast. This is a shapeshifter. It has Changeling, so it's every creature type, um, and it can't be blocked. It can't block. It can't block other creatures, but uh, that's not a huge deal. The most important thing is it's unblockable, uh, and we can ninjutsu it successfully. Um, so. You're not getting any scry or card draw off of this guy. Um, however, the most exciting part about the Changeling Outcast is that it's a shapeshifter. So this counts as a fairy creature type, and it also counts as a ninja creature type. So even if you're not ninjutsuing this, and it's just getting in for damage as it is, um, if you've got an ingenious infiltrator on the battlefield, it counts as a ninja. So it, you're drawing a card off of it. Um, it also counts as a fairy, which powers up mm -hmm. Spell Stutter Sprite. Um, so ninjas and fairies are the two kind of tribes that are mashed together in this deck. Um, the payoffs for ninjas being these two, like mm -hmm. I explained. The payoff for fairies being Spell Stutter Sprite. Um, if, you know, if you're familiar with fairies decks, you're familiar with this. Uh, it's got flash. It's a two, two mana for a 1-1 one, one flyer. However, when it enters the battlefield, you counter target spell, any type of spell, with converted mana cost X or less, where X is the number of fairies you control. So, um, it's another evasive creature, which is what we want, with a great enter the battlefield effect. So, these are our one-drop evasive creatures. So, we want to, like, turn one, get one of these down, turn two, ninjutsu them. Uh, this isn't a one drop, but it's a great one to ninjutsu for its enter the battlefield effect. If we can keep reusing this as a counter spell over and over, uh, that's value. So play this, counter something, swing in, ninjutsu it back, draw a card, and now we have a spell starter sprite again to use uh, to counter something else. Um, so there's lots of cool little synergies here. Um, on its own, when Spell Stutter enters the battlefield, it can counter a one converted mana cost or less because it does mm. count itself. Even if there's mm. nothing else on the battlefield, it counts itself as a fairy because it's already on the battlefield when the triggered ability happens. Um, so at the very least, you're countering a Lightning Bolt or a you know a Thought Seize or whatever, Path to Exile. Um, however, uh, the more fairies you have, the more powerful things you can counter. So that's why Changeling Outcast is so exciting, because it's just yet another fairy. It's both a fairy and a ninja, so it's perfect. It can play both sides. Um, so, yeah, so we've got plenty of fairies. Hopefully this is countering two, three converted mana cost things, which is pretty powerful, especially when we can reuse it. Um, which, I guess I'll talk about the final kind of tribal piece of the puzzle here is Mutavault. Um, we are a two-color deck, so I didn't want to throw in too many colorless lands, so I only have two Mutavaults, but Mutavault, same as Changing Outcast, can be a ninja or a fairy. So, um, you know, if you have Mutavault as a land and you cast a Spell Starter Sprite, you can activate this, and it, now you have two fairies, and you can counter um, something with two convert mana cost, etc. Um, let's see, while we're on the lands, Creeping Tar Pit, we've got one of these, comes into play tapped, so, um, I, again, don't want too many of them, we don't want to slow ourselves down too much, but, um, it's a slightly high activation cost, it's not like a Muta Vault, which just costs one, but for three mana, this can become a 3-2 creature that is also unblockable, which is convenient for our ninjutsus. Um, so one Creeping Tar Pit, some Fast Lands, the Dark Slick Shores, Basic Island, Basic Swamp, uh, Fetch Lands, Watery Grave, just 20 lands. That's the, uh, that's the mana base. Uh, what else haven't we talked about? So then so just some kind of interactive stuff. Um, the spell package. We've got a couple of Vapor Snags. It's a good tempo play. Um, we could even bounce our own stuff back to save it or reuse it if we want. Mm -hmm. It's versatile. Fatal Push is a great, great, efficient 
uh, black removal spell. A um, couple inquisitions to disrupt the opponent's hand. Mana leak, a couple additional counter spells. Um, we've got one dismember, um, which we can either call pl pl oh, sorry, we can either play for one mana or we could pay the black since we're in that color, which is nice. Um, one Vendillion click, it's a legendary creature, so I didn't want too many of it, and it costs three converted mana cost, so it's a little slow, um, but it is evasive, it is a fairy, and it has a good enter the battlefield effect, so it's another great target mm -hmm. for ninjutsu. Um, and finally, the last Modern Horizons card that I'm including and in testing out mm -hmm. is Force of Negation, Modern's version of Force of Will. Um, we have a decent amount of blue cards, uh, so it's, you know, it's potentially a free-ish counterspell, conditionally, um, so I figured I'd test it out. Seems like it could be pretty powerful. Um, that way we can take our first turns one and two and ninjutsu mm -hmm. and stick a ninja the deep hours mm -hmm. and then keep swinging in and protect mm -hmm. it with force negation. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, that's the main board. Um, so a few new Modern Horizons cards in here. Um, we've got the, uh, the Fairy Seer. Mm -hmm. Changeling Outcast, Force of Negation, and the Ingenious Infiltrator. So showcasing a few things here. We'll see how it goes. Sideboard is pretty straightforward. Uh, some other counterspell options. Um, Hercules Recall for Artifacts. Um, some more hand disruption against combo if we need it. Uh, some more hard removal against creature-based decks if we need it. Graveyard Hate, Tron Storm Hate. Um, you know, your usual basic stuff. Whew! And that'll do it. Uh, so ninjas and fairies mashed together in one giant janky mess. Um, we are going to take this through a league and see how we do. So I will see you guys in the first round. Thanks for watching.